today we are going to change two filters one ca cabin filter and second one air filter to the engine for Opel Meriva this is K1138 and the other one is AP051 number one this is another brand not filtered on but it also works safety first so we wear gloves to protect our hands because there are a lot of sharp elements within the engine starting with cabin filter which is located under the, this division partition wall rubber comes off first use soft wrench number 14 to unscrew the wipers it's important to remember the position of wipers and so they are down and to take off one arm you have to press it against the screen and then push up there are two ways of doing things you can either take off the arms but if you can do it the other thing is to disassemble this partition wall and you can do it by unscrewing those trucks which are in four spaces here and on the side you have to take out the fuse box which holds the partition wall in place be careful not to break those plastic pins which hold it in place if you unscrew this plastic division then you will see the two screws underneath and if you get rid of those two which are behind this then you can take the whole partition off and then get to the filter so once you unscrew four boxes then it comes off beautifully part is off so you can see the filter is right behind this protection plastic it's barely hanging there and the two screws I had to take out was were here one was here and the other one was over here because I couldn't get my arms out so I did it another way so instead of taking this partition out I just took the other wall out I took plastic out it was just holding on this one pin and you can see the filter behind is very dirty so we will in a moment change it into a new one but I'll do some cleaning cleaning in meantime because I have some time and I hardly ever look in there so pretty simple took me 10 minutes how to take filter out as you can see there are plastic pins on the side one here one over there in the corner but you just can pull it and nothing holds it and it should come off that's how so now let's unpack the filter oh, it looks amazing look compare there was a whole ecosystem in the old one and this is a new filter so if you can't do it yourself at least go to professional technician and let him do it for you there is a sign on the side which shows which way the filter should be placed if you can't figure it out so this side goes into the cabin here's a good tip if you can't fix it inside just bend it from the bottom like that and it will bend and then you can place it inside just like that and that's how a new filter looks like fantastic okay so the filter is fitted tightly in place looks very good and now the time to put back the protection over it so outer shell is also in place and now we 
are going back with partition wall. Time to go back. Everything goes back in its place, so first we put fuses box. Just push it into position. Then you push the whole partition wall. You align the screws like that. You also like that. And then you put the all screws together. You can see that those plastics pointing things like here on the side and this have to go behind metal plate which is at the back and then if you have all those plastic pins behind this edge of metal then it fits and you can screw trucks one by one back into position and you're done start by putting back two top pieces one here the one I just placed you can see over there then two more here and two more on the side and that would be it and what I have left because I didn't dismantle my arms I have to put back the screw cups here and screw back this partition wall as well but it helped me to lift it up a bit and get to the screws which were underneath how you simply install the cabin filter wasn't too complicated the other filter is under this box it's much simpler because you just need to take out the air intake and unscrew all this those four screws which are holding this cup and the filter is underneath first unplug this then take off the valve it's off you are free to unscrew the one screw which is behind and one screw in the corner and one screw over right there and this cup will come off the most tricky screw is right behind the light box and it's over there and you need a very long screwdriver or an extension to actually unscrew it and if you're done with it it's easy peasy there are four screws total holding the cap and when you unscrew all of them you can easily take it off if you did everything as shown in the video you will see an old filter which you take out without any problems because it's very simple and you can see there is there are dead pieces inside and some other stuff so let's change it into a new filter Sealed. Okay. Let's, ah, not really. Okay. I don't have a knife. The new filter looks like as well. This orange side goes on the top, and the yellow side goes toward the engine. I'll just clean this mess and install a new filter. So I place a filter in the slot, just like that, you just push it and there is a ridge on the side and this gum should go on the ridge and it sits like that. If it's installed correctly everything looks fine. Perfect. Now the hole, the cup. on the side and just has to fit so, so there were four screws to take it this is like one over here one here in the corner the one here behind the light and the one over there in the other corner you can see it or not in a way yeah over there 
and if you screw it but it will all work fine the most important part is to put this tightly together there is a brace which holds it in place so if you put it back into the hole then you have to put a brace over it and tighten it up and it will all work well don't forget to connect two power sources one to the external valve and then everything is done finally putting pump in place and party connected it to the power done all looks nice and perfect now it's time to switch on the engine and see if there are any coming case which tell us that something went wrong but i'm pretty sure everything is done perfect okay that's it really good job guys the engine cleaned two filters installed and now final test let's turn it on and see if everything is working correctly and i hope it does so all the clocks on no signs of problem.